Hi there Taurus, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 16th of June. An absolutely sensational link between your ruler Venus and Jupiter, the planet of fortune, provides a backdrop for the whole of this week. This gives you wonderful permission to really express yourself to the max. But you may be thinking, but hold on Patrick, Mercury's twisting backwards, doesn't that pose quite a lot of problems? And you're right, it can do. And one of the things with Venus and Jupiter when they get together is they can kind of kid us into this feeling that everything is possible without any effort on our part at all. So you will need to rouse yourself, particularly on day one of this week, because Venus is actually blocked on that day still by Saturn in the way it was much of last week. So although I'm telling you this, you may still find some resistance around one key relationship, but there is the potential to put things on a better footing. And if you are footloose and fancy three, this is one of the most delicious of all planetary aspects. And it's going to enable you to feel glamorous, to feel sure of yourself, and to feel much more confident about the way you communicate with others. But, quite rightly, with Mercury twisting backwards and rotating on Tuesday back into Gemini and combining with the Sun through to Friday, it is going to be important that you don't jump to conclusions when it comes to your financial situation. And if you are working out any facts and figures, get a second opinion. Because with Venus and Jupiter there, again, as I say, they can kind of fool you into being a little bit too easy going, just at a time when you need to retain your focus. Because with Mercury retrograde combining the Sun, something you get told may not be accurate, or something you're trying to chase up may prove elusive. And also, all through this week, Mars, the power planet which is in your sector of health and work, is squabbling with Pluto, which is in a much more exploratory part of your scope. And if you find yourself at times this week feeling a little bit resentful about the kind of constraints and obligations you have in your situation, it wouldn't be a surprise because there's part of you that is really, really hankering for some kind of new, vibrant, an exciting and perhaps unpredictable event to occur in your life. But your default as a person is to stick with what you know. And this could be creating some kind of inner conflict as much as conditions changing outside of you. There's also a quarter moon on Wednesday which suggests that when it comes to money and friendship, the two areas may be better kept apart. But on Saturday, a stunning change occurs for you when the sun powers into cancer and this is going to really give your personal communications a huge boost and pep up the wonderful energy that Jupiter and, and Venus have been percolating all through this week but if you are having a date and there's no arguments about who pays for what and you've got no ex outstanding conversations to have about financial issues and you do manage to delegate some of the chores that have been getting you down a bit of late. This could turn out to be an extremely pleasant and interesting week as far as your love life is concerned. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.